What's up guys, I'm Josh Mosman and welcome to This Week in MXA, episode number 99, presented by O'Neill Racing. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. As always, we do our best to cover what's going on in the motocross and supercross world and share with you guys a little behind the scenes snippet into what it's like to be a motocross action test rider. In this video, I just wanna say thank you to Motocross Action for giving me the opportunity to ride so many different motorcycles. I texted my brother yesterday a video of me on the 2023 Yamaha YZ125 two-stroke throwing a massive whip at Paris Raceway. I was feeling good. It's the end of the day. My buddy Josh Holly, he had his iPhone out and uh, I got a little sideways on it. Sent it to my brother because I was proud and he was blown away. He's like, dude, I don't know how you could go that big on a jump that's that small. Well, I explained to him that riding so many different motorcycles has taught me to be a better rider. Now I have a better understanding of how to manage each bike. I have a better understanding on how to make a bike better. And uh, I have a better understanding of just what goes on with motorcycles. So before turning to a motocross action, I was a supercross motocross racer. I raced from 2016 to 2018 full-time pro. I did my best trying to make a living as a pro rider, but uh, ultimately didn't make a living as a pro rider. And uh, I wanted to get married to my wife, Ashley. I needed to find a job. I had a shoulder injury that ended my season early and I was off the bike for about four months. And in that time, I found the job at motocross action. And my first day riding Riding was actually testing for motocross action on Austin Forkner's 2018 factory Kawasaki Pro Circuit KX250 race bike. Now that was a day to remember. On that same day, I also rode a Suzuki RMZ450 project bike and shot photos. That was out at Milestone. It was my first day after injury, back from a shoulder surgery, and it was my first day with motocross action. It was a cool experience. I rode for hours that day and was tired for a week and very sore after not riding for so long. But it was my first time with M MXA and uh, also riding my first ever factory bike. So I definitely couldn't get off the bike uh, without a smile and I couldn't get off the bike early. I had to get as much riding as I possibly could on that bike. But since then, I've ridden every production dirt bike from 2019, 2020, 21, 22, and now 23. We've ridden almost all of the bikes now. And uh, that means I've ridden over 125 stock production motorcycles. And most of the time I rode them when they were brand new and then I've continued to ride them and break them in uh, alongside the rest of the MXA wrecking crew. We have a lot of vet test riders. We have novice test riders. We have other pros and other intermediates that help us out and uh, guys with more experience than me, some guys with less experience than me, but we work together to put together Motocross Action Magazine, our YouTube channel and our YouTube videos and our website. Thanks to Motocross Action for uh, hosting This Week in MXA for 99 episodes. Thank you guys for tuning in. I want to give an encouragement though. If you, just by watching Motocross Action, you can learn from us. You can read our articles. We teach you how to make your motorcycle experience better. We teach you how to make your dirt bike better. And we do our best to inform you on what the new bikes are all about so you can make an informed decision before buying a new bike. But I want to encourage you on how to become a better test rider yourself. There's a lot of things on your dirt bike that are free to do to make your motorcycle experience better. Just the other day, I won't call out my buddy's name, but uh, his sag was set to like 145. If your rear end's sitting that low, you're going to get kicked bad going down Glen Helen. All it took was a couple turns of preload on the shock to raise his sag back up to 105, which is recommended for his bike. And he was handling so much better. So there's a lot of things that we can do um, through watching our videos and through reading our website and our magazine to learn how to work on your motorcycle. There's a lot of free things that you can do to your dirt bike to make it better by suspension clickers, by raising up the forks and the triple clamps, by uh, adding grip tape, adding different things on your bike to, uh, to make it better. So that's our goal here at Motocross Action. That's what we hope to do with our This Week in MXA videos. And uh, we like to give you a sneak peek of what's going on in the industry and what we're up to. Next up, we gotta talk about Ken Roxon and what this guy is up to. He just won the King of Paris title in the Paris Supercross this past weekend on a Honda CRF 450. Then he flew to Barcelona, Spain and rode the brand new Stark Varg electric bike and really broke the internet by posting a video of him riding a tamed down Supercross track on that bike. Very interesting stuff. I think it's a great marketing technique for Ken Roxon 
top level rider who is not under any factory contracts right now and he's still trying to figure out what he's doing for 23. For him to ride all kinds of exotic bikes and talk about it, super cool, super fun to be a motocross and supercross fan right now. Super fun to be a Ken Roxon fan and uh, really cool to see. It was also cool to see him get the win over Eli Tomac at the Paris Supercross. Tomac won the first night and it looked like he would have the ultimate season in 2023, winning the Supercross Championship, the Outdoor Championship, Team USA winning Motocross of Nations at Red Bud. For him to win the first ever World Supercross at Cardiff, um, the FIM World Supercross Series, for him to win that opening round, and then to go and win Paris would be kind of just the clean sweep of the year. He won the first night, but Ken Roxon got him the second night. Pretty interesting stuff, and uh, it's a cool story either way. Eli Tomac has had an amazing season with the Star Racing Yamaha team, a brand new team for this year. And Ken Roxon, he's had all kinds of highs and lows, all kinds of uh, headlines, but uh, Ken Roxon got the win, and that was pretty cool. Next up, I gotta mention that we just posted a brand new video on our YouTube this Monday. It was the Hassaker built Pasha Racing 125, not 125, 150 KTM, and that thing is intense. So we have a four part video series coming to our YouTube channel right now where we test three different KTM 150s, all with almost identical specs, just different engine builders for each bike. So the first bike was built by Jim Hassaker in Northern California. Learn all about Jim and all about that bike in that first video. Stay tuned for upcoming videos on the Terry Varner built bike and the Twisted Development built bike. And uh, finally, we'll have a shootout video where we compare all three and share the lap time results from those three bikes out at Parish Raceway the other day. A couple more things to note, we are in the middle of our 2023 125 two-stroke shootout this week and next week and uh, man it is an exciting time to be an MXA test rider. The brand new fuel injected electric starting 125 two strokes from KTM and Husky. Very, very interesting. They're also very different from the gas gas 125 two stroke, which is built off of last year's KTM platform with the carburetor and with the old chassis and the old engine. So very interesting stuff. We rode at Glen Helen this past week and uh, also at Paris yesterday. And Trevor Nelson, MXA's digital editor, he was out there riding 125s with me and sharing his experience about the gas gas 350 check it out gas gas 450 what do you think about the 350 though especially for a guy like trevor who's must oh, have i think it's perfect i think it's perfect for him because the 250 didn't quite have enough and this has got plenty on pep on top doesn't it yeah no this bike is really good trevor what, what's your experience been with 250s 350s 450s uh, i've been a 250 guy my whole life uh someone small a 450 is like a lot to handle for a you know a dirt bike so I've, I've tried this 350 a couple times and it's freaking awesome. Really? So, yeah. And what about the bar mounts? Oh my gosh. So as someone who only rides like pretty like rarely, but I get arm pump like as soon as I touch dirt out there. And so, <laughs> The, ar the bar mounts let me get like three laps in before I get that arm pump. So, I like it. Yeah. The, the your most bar mounts, they, uh, they flex a lot more and keep me going good. What's up guys? We are at Paris Raceway again. And today we are doing a 125 shootout. Last time we were here, about two weeks ago, we were doing Pasha's KTM 150 shootout with uh, Project Bikes, three different engine builders, three different bikes. Now we got production stock. 125s, 2023 models. Travis, Trevor, got them all spread out across the track. We got Cole Zeller. Uh, he just came back from Lake Havasu, finishing third in the Pro 2 class in uh, the NGPC race out there. And we got Ezra Lewis. Um, we call him Ezra Sexton because he's uh, just got impeccable technique. And then we got Connor Styers. He is a good buddy of ours. He's been breaking in a lot of Suzuki's, helping them out um, production bikes this year. It's gonna be a fun day. We got the track to ourselves. 125 two strokes. Can't complain. Next up, I got to talk to viral brand goggles Scott Steffi the other day out at Glen Helen about their new goggles. Let's check it out. What's up guys? We're here with Scott Steffi of Viral Brand Goggles and uh, showing off the new Signature Plus series today. <laughs> Scott came down here from Washington, right? Yep, absolutely. From Washington and uh, it's a long drive to hang out with MXA here at Glen Helen. We're testing Suzuki's today, but we're also wearing the new Viral Brand goggles and uh, I'm excited because you got some laminated graphite, uh, laminated tear-offs now yep. and uh, some exotic stuff going on with the face foam where you can peel it off, 
stick it back on. If you have spare foam, you can you know, put a dry set of foam on in yep. between motos. I'm a big time sweater, so when, uh, when a goggle company tells me, hey, we got all these different avenues and ways to keep sweat out of your eyes, I'm all about it. So I'm always looking for ways. Scott, what's going on with these new goggles and like how long have you been working on them? So we, uh, Viralman started uh, about seven years ago in 2015. We've been kind of slowly but surely kind of grinding. Uh, the pandemic was definitely a, a, a kind of a hard, hard deal for us. And uh, from that, we got a new distributor, CPD, here in the, in the US. Uh, with that, we were able to start really developing our new 2023 goggle, which has a few things we're working on patent-wise. Uh, one of them is the magnetic face foam, which is designed to uh, be quick, quick for cleaning, quick for changing if you want to in between motos. But also, we're also going to offer uh, three different layers. So you're going to have a 15 millimeter, you're going to have a 18 millimeter, and you're going to have a 20 millimeter uh, face foam. So you can actually fit it to your face along with some fashion colors. We got neons and bling and red and blues and that kind of stuff. Yeah, pretty cool. So one exciting thing about about that aspect of it is because it's so easy to take the foam off. I could toss this in with my socks, my jersey, my helmet pads, and wash it, and then put it back on the next day. I have. Clean, clean padding. Yeah. Um, that way, it's keeping acne off my face, keep me, <laughs> keep me looking uh, better on the track, and and then also you can put pe peel the the straps off as well to wash those. So it's like it's better durability wise. Keep get more years and more time out of your goggles. Yeah. The the, the concept of the goggle is kind of a modular design. So you can pull your you can pull your strap, and now that I'm on video, it'll probably take me a second to do it. But you can pull your strap and actually change straps in less than than less than 30 seconds. So you can customize it to whatever you're doing, you can clean it. It gives you the ability to maintain your goggles. Along with our, our Precision Optics lens, which is also a quick change lens, we have a quick, you know, little, little lock on the side, pop the top, and I mean, you're in and out that fast. And to put it back together, it doesn't take much time either. So you just click it back in, whoops. Of course, when, I'm on, when you're on video, it's always easier than when you're not on video, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can do that, click it in, and you're ready to go again. Back on. Yeah, and we've done a lot of testing with this goggle. We had a uh, MXGP team do some testing with some World Enduro guys using it. Uh, we've done a bunch of testing here in the US ourselves. And uh, this week is our, is our launch of our 2023 goggle. We're, we couldn't be more excited. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for the goggles. We're excited to put more, more time in them. Yeah. Uh, new rider announcement this weekend. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we have uh, Logan Carnell is our first signing. We're actually starting to be uh, kind of back to the Supercross world again. Uh, we also signed Mike Alessi, uh, signed with us yesterday, and he'll be running straight rhythm for us. And then he'll be doing the uh, Hoosier Arena Cross series. Uh, and we'll be, we're also the official goggle of the Hoosier Arena Cross. You'll see us on all the whole shot awards and that kind of stuff this year as well. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. Hey, man. Thank you. And uh, where did you say people can buy the goggles at? So go to viralbrandmx.com. Uh, click on the new goggle. That'll be up. That, the goggles won't actually be available till no end of November, but you're going to go there find more information in about a week. You go to uh, viralbrandmx.com, click on the link that says Signature Series, and that'll bring up all the new goggles. Awesome. Good times. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Before we go, I got to tell you that next week is our 100th episode of This Week in MXA, and I'm very excited. We got a lot of editing to do because this is a big, big episode. So, uh, man, I got to follow through on this, and I got to make sure Trevor has enough time to edit this video. So, uh, man, leave us some encouragement in the comments because I... I'm excited to share this video with you guys, but also a little bit uh, nervous with just the daunting task it's gonna be to put it all together because it's that epic. So stay tuned, motocrossactionmag.com on our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our upcoming videos. See you in the next one.